Hey guys, welcome to another uh, Jurassic World Live video, and uh, today we're out there, uh, here, I mean, uh, to do the Indoraptor Strike Tower, the epic one-step Indoraptor Strike Tower after I dart the score go. Uh, we sh should be heading there. Uh, it's, it's not a really hard strike tower. It's one of the easier ones, uh, that they have. And, you know, we've had this one for, it's probably our second time or third time. So, um, for those of you who have done it before, you know, it's not hard, so, uh, anyways, uh, hopefully we got lucky and it doesn't crit on the cleansing impact, like, I mean, when I say it's easy, like, it's easy if you don't crit, get crit with the cleansing impact, which only has a 20% chance of happening, but if it crit, crits, you're, uh, pretty much screwed, um, so, yeah, interrupt, not too hard, uh, usually it does go cleansing impact turn one, if it doesn't, uh, I don't know. It always does. <laughs> okay, we're almost there. Or is it just my map not moving? Oh, never mind. Looks like we're just not there yet. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Uh, let me just switch up my team. Find my uh, the the dinos that should be using Sucatator, of course. And then if Sucatator gets crit for some reason, I guess we'll have to use other stuff. Um, blah, blah, blah. I don't know, what else would do good against it? Oh yeah, Sucamime is swapping bleeders. Uh... Swapping bleeders. And then just other stuff you could use, I guess. Just stuff that's faster than it. Hopefully get a hit in or whatever. Who knows. But yeah. You should be fine with just a uh, uh, Sucatator. All you have to bleed it. And then, you know, survive. Or what three turns? So it should go cleanse, a uh, lethal wound. You you lethal wound, and then it hits you again, and then you die, and then you throw out something else, and then it hits you again, and then you die, and then it's GG. All right. This I I went in with a team that's not ready to get crit by cleanse, but sure. Okay, let's go up to the Please don't crit me. It's an 80% chance to win. But, again, there's always that 20% 20, 20 chance to lose. Yikes. And by the way, Sucatator needs to be level 14. Level 14? Oh, no way! Come on! Oh, well. <laughs> Looks like we, uh... Uh, we... We screwed that one. So low 14 is usually the magic number for strike events for some reason. Uh, should have pounced. Sh shouldn't have pounced here. Should have swapped in bleed, and then pounced. Cause then uh, my lost raptor would have survived that hit. Oh well. Whatever. <laughs> Oh, that was dumb. Hopefully they won't, uh, crit us the second time. I mean, critting us twice in a row, that's what? A 10% chance of happening, or not even? 20%, 20 I don't know, I don't care. Let's just hope it doesn't happen again. Alright. Uh, you know what? That actually almost worked. If we only went for Swap and Bleed instead of the, uh, the Blast Raptor thing, we probably could have won there. That was my fault. I wasn't really thinking. I was just thinking, oh, let's, let's get through this quick so we get our second attempt on this. Please don't crit us again. Don't crit us again. Oh, and don't go with weird moves. Uh, 
Okay, so when you when you spend cash to retry, they kind of they, they start using weird moves and stuff. So I do this. Please don't cleanse. Okay, one for DSR. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Uh, let's swap in this wounder. You know what? We shouldn't have swapped it in. What if it used cleanse this turn? Yeah, damn. Oh well. Well, we have a lost raptor. We could one shot it. But anyways, for you guys who don't have a level twenty lost raptor, uh, just what I did the first time around would be fine. Uh, what it does is it goes for cleansing impact and fan shattering impact and armor piercing strike. Your bleed should kill it by turn three, but um, if you do unfortunately get hit by the uh, the 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 twenty percent crit on turn one the first time around, then you probably have to retry. Um, and then I guess that's what the, it's gonna do on the retry. So you can still do it. You can still bleed, but um, I I thought it might have like use cleanse on turn two so that's why I didn't swap in the bleeder on turn two but now that we know that it's gonna DSR on turn two you could just swap in the bleeder on turn two so that's gonna do what 33 66 uh, 80 92 percent of its damage and then you could just finish it off with a Velociraptor or Dino Kyrus or just something fast hit it once with a strike probably would even just take it out so okay there's that let's open up this incubator all right, coins, uh, Parasaurolophus, Allosaurus, Dracorax, Tojango, not bad so far, uh, Atrandon, and Conk. So, um, as usual, uh, uh, a disappointment, at least on the epic side. The, the other things aren't so bad. Um, ooh, I need to start using my scent capsules. I really wish they'd, like, buff the, uh, or not buff, just up the limit the, the cap on the, the just the small common sense since you know every time you buy um small common sense you have to buy them in fives and then that automatically just caps your uh, limit even if you use one you're still at four and then you know if you get any of the free ones from the supply drops it goes to waste so it's kind of discourages you from buying them during the uh the, the, the coin cash resets every day, and it's freezing cold <laughs> out here. So yeah, that, that's one small complaint about the sand capsules for you guys who don't listen to uh, Meta Minute, which we complain about it, like, constantly <laughs> when we talk about sand capsules and you know, updates and stuff that we want implemented. That is one thing that we do want to see uh, change there. Uh, should I go start that uh, Carnotaurus? I don't know. It's it's right at my house. I'll, well, uh, maybe I'll go dart it when I'm back home or something. I just need to finish using up this uh, sand capsule here. Ooh, I need to train my team back before I go into the arena. Which, um, do I have any... Do I need any computers at the moment? That's actually something I don't... I'm not sure of. Sucatator. I totally level up Souk Theater if I had the resources. Um, yeah, I need, I need to <laughs> roll an incubator here. But uh, yeah, that, that's one thing I would like to see implemented in the update. Just you know, raise the, uh, raise the limit on the sand capsule. By the way, if you guys don't know, um, uh, Ludia really. Um, really nicely asked me to join their uh, or a access their uh, beta testing for 1.6 which I accepted and um, I'm in the process of it and it's 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 looking out really good guys the uh, 1.6 the new dinos the new you know the new gameplay and stuff it's it's I, I like it a lot so uh, I can't wait for it to actually go live it's it's gonna be pretty exciting. I'll pick six, uh, six, and um, yeah, <laughs> you guys will be seeing footage of that soon. Whenever the update drops, after the update drops, I I assume. So that's gonna be cool. 
Um, no, oh, and obviously don't ask me what's in there. I can't tell you guys. That would be um, that would be it. That would be problematic if I told you guys anything about it. Although I really want to, but I can't. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, it's looking pretty promising so far. Uh, not that everything's all, you know, good and dandy, it, dandy in there. Uh, obviously, there are some other problems as well, but, you know, for the most part, in general, I, I, I like the update so far. Okay. Whoa, what's that? Irritator Gen 2. Hmm. Irritator Gen 2, by the way, is the first and only... Well, I wouldn't say the first. Only it's... Well, it is the first one who... Uh, one, one dino that originated from the Arena exclusive and then... Uh, turned turned into a uh, into a wild spawn. Although there has been another dino before that used to be a wild spawn, but then turned into a very exclusive. These guys don't know that's Proceratosaurus. Proceratosaurus at first was like a global rare spawn, and then they turned it into an arena exclusive in I want to say 1.2. So yeah, uh, they could totally just play around with the arena exclusives as well, maybe. So. That could be fun. Although that that I'm not sure of. Alright. Okay, that was a that was, that was not bad for a common sense. By the way, I've seen four wild sound of shared hopses so far. Uh since the event. They're uh, They're appearing in decent amounts. Um although despite my <laughs> Epic scent not going going too well. Um, I've been seeing a decent amount in the wild. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Tell me how much Sinoceratops you guys have been seeing in the wild. And um, yeah, uh, <laughs> scent's done. So uh, that's it for this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, uh, leave a like in the uh, video down below. And uh, subscribe if you're new. Hopefully you guys uh, beat the strike tower if you did. Um, Tell me what uh, disappointment you got in your Epic King bit, or you know, you got something good. Tell me that as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck with your incubators.